I've traveled halfway around the world and now I'm back to take a big circle of meat and put it around my genitals. Or in my mouth, or likely both. Hey there, feeders, it's me, Noah Gluten. Now, I've been traveling a bunch for work. Uh, not this work, because this isn't actually work, because Taste doesn't actually uh, pay me any what we call money uh, of any kind. But the point is, I'm finally back, and now it's time for me to take some meat circles and shove them into my fleshy meat circle. That's actually how they usually pay me. All right, let's round up a few of those jerks from around the feed and office them. Now, it sounds like I'm rusty, but actually, I'm just on a lot of cocaine. Let's feed the office. What are your favorite shapes to eat chicken in? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Chicken <gasps> shapes. I mean, it's everyone's favorite shape. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the stars. opposite? Oh, hey. Oh, no, it's a ring. What? Are they like onion rings for chickens? I didn't know they made them in cockroaches. Well, they're just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's... oh, look at that. I'm so glad I could be here for that. Oh. I just, uh, you know, <laughs> you got proposed to. Oh, is this like it's a so sauce? Flat. They have like a little sauce? Yeah. Got yeah. It. Cubby. You gotta use it. Oh God, they have a cup it's holder. It's too big for the thing. They oh, just you turn it this way. The chicken. If IKEA made like chicken furniture, this would be one of the little parts they that do comes actually. out of the bag. <laughs> chicken furniture? You know what I'm saying. Like furniture for chickens? Wait, no, it's furniture made of chicken. Is that? This yeah, is but zesty. nobody ever I'm knows zesty. what to do with those weird little washers anyway. It doesn't taste like anything. But also yeah, it's you very can't bland. dump the washer oh, into the sauce thing. It doesn't fit. So the breading is really kind of uh, like crumbling and sludgy, and it just sort of tastes vaguely of like black pepper. And then when you fry something this thin to get that level of co color on it, it means you have to overcook and dry the shit out of the chicken. So this is basically the worst form of fried chicken I've ever had. And then for some reason it's a ring. If it wasn't a ring, it would be a nugget and then it would actually be juicier. The zesty sauce. What's the zesty? I agree. Zesty. That's the highlight of the taste side. Wait, wait, there's uh, a sauce uh, holder in the box? Why aren't we talking about that? Yeah, wait, there's That's a phenomenal. bunch of calculations. Yeah, I mean, box. this is groundbreaking technology yeah. right here. The chefs, uh, but it's the Burger just... King engineers, they know what they're doing. Put that between your legs, that. drive the Science. car. All right, so T spent $13 on three boxes of rings, which is basically, what, four bucks a box, and there's five rings in it? Six? If I wanted to fill myself up on really garbage fried chicken nugget things, there's a lot of cheaper places to go to. And I guess what? As a man who ate, what, 60 nuggets once and swore them off for life, I'd rather eat another chicken nugget from McDonald's than eat this. And that is not a compliment to McDonald's. Have any of you ever had worse fast food chicken than this? No. I haven't had a lot, but I'm gonna say no, probably, because Everyone else Everybody had a really else. short answer, and you had to like give your whole yeah. backstory. I have a lot, a of, lot of people in the room not today. buying fast food chicken. And yeah, I everyone spent food. most of their life not buying fast food That's chicken. That's not true. It's just most just you people. It's just, just Can we at least it. agree that chicken fries rings rolls off the mouth? It's a clever short title. Chicken fries rings. I feel like it's yeah, like that's a brutal. Mouth yoga. They're reinventing the wheel. I think that's a guys. horrible term. I think he talks too much. I think we're covering a lot of ground today. Why are you so mean today? I just don't like that they're so expensive and it's less chicken. Here's mad at not being mean to you yet today. No, you already have. Wait, off camera doesn't count. <laughs> the consensus in the group is no one would buy these on purpose and spend the money on them. Would any of you eat them for free again if you weren't on camera? No. Yes. No. How poor am I? Uh, I don't know. How poor are you? Are you? <laughs> yeah, that's They're a factor. free, so does it matter? That's absolutely a factor. It's Kelsey's birthday, so we gave her the worst chicken <laughs> rings that you can find. Thanks, guys. Wait, we should do a ring toss on her head. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Might put one on her head. Oh, <laughs> this is never gonna work. It's gonna hit. Oh. oh. <laughs> we Got it! Right? No one's gonna... It not get grease on the side. <laughs> Okay. This is Easy. the worst birthday present. <laughs> well, the chicken ring fries were universally disliked. They were dry on the inside, dry on the outside, and had a weird kind of sludgy breading texture to them. The only victory in the entire thing was for the zesty sauce, and that's because it had horseradish in it, and horseradish is delicious, even when it's shoved into a bunch of really crappy Burger King ingredients. Let us know in the comments section if you guys have tried these weird chicken french fry rings, and uh, if you thought that they were, in fact, the worst fried chicken on the fast food market. And also, hey, let us know why.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Tasted because we have a lot more taste tests coming up. See, T found out about a lot of new terrible foods while I was away, and I was like, T, why don't you just host the show? And she said, remember my accident? And I went, oh yeah, you definitely shouldn't do it.